hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see the hands-on lab for module 10 administering remote computers so in this module uh, so first we will see lab a how to enable the remoting on the local computer so here uh, in this exercise we will you know enable the remoting for the incoming connections so for that i'll be using this cl lan uh, cl1 machine so i have logged in as the administrator and uh, i have opened the powershell run as administrator and uh, next i'm going to change the execution policy to remote signed so for that uh, we need to execute the following command can type set dash execution policy space remote signed so if you wanted to check the current execution policy you can use the get command so right now it is set to unrestricted and we are going to set it remote signed okay now it's asking whether you want to execute this one so i'm going to type yes by default it will be no now if i run get dash execution policy now it has changed it to remote signed so next we'll enable the remote incoming connections so now on this lan dash cl1 computer let's run this following command so let me type uh, enable ps remoting so this is to enable the remoting incoming connection okay so next uh, we'll see the command that contains the session configuration so for that we can type help session configuration So here we can notice that there is a get dash ps session configuration. Okay, so next we can you know to view the session configuration, we can use this get dash ps session configuration command. okay so here uh, we can see that uh, there are one two three four connections will be available so uh, we have enabled the remoting for the incoming connections next we'll see you know how to perform the one-to-one -one remoting okay so in this exercise we will be you know connecting to the remote computer and install an operating system feature on that remote computer and then we will test multi-hop remoting and then we'll observe the remoting limitations so how many remoting connections are allowed for the remote connections so here i'll be connecting to the lan dash dc1 So to connect the LAN dash DC1, we'll do the following steps on LAN dash CL1. Okay, so now I'm on LAN dash CL1. 
and uh, to establish uh, the remote connection to LAN dash DC1, let's type the following command enter. PS session and computer name. So this will be the remote computer which is LAN dash DC1. Okay, so now we are connected to the LAN dash DC1 computer and now I am going to install the NLB future which is network load balancing. So for that, let me enter the following command. Install Windows Future NLB. So let's wait for the command to be completed. Okay, this is success, true, and restart. No, that means no need to restart the host. Okay, result network load balancing. So to exit from this, uh, you know, remote connection, let's type the exit dash ps session. So now we are back to the local host. Now again, let's connect to LAN dash DC1, you know, to establish the one-to-one -one remoting connection. So for that, let's enter the same command again, enter PS session and computer name. So now we are in LAN dash DC1 and uh, now let's try to connect to DC1 to CL1. So now we are already in DC1 and uh, let me run the command to connect to CL1 back. Enter PS session computer name LAN dash CL1. So since we are already, uh, you know, connected to CL1 back uh, we are getting this you are currently in a windows powershell ps session and cannot use the enter ps session command light so by default uh, we cannot establish a connection through an already established connection okay let's exit ps session so we can see that uh, this means we are already into this machine. Now we are exiting from this and coming back to the, the local host. So now to connect to the local host, let's run this following command. Enter PS session computer name local host. So we are connected to the local host and uh, if I type the notepad command, it will just open the notepad in the local host. So here you can see that uh, the shell, you know, seems to be stop responding and it was waiting for opening the notepad. Since uh, the notepad is the graphical application and uh, the shell will not be able to open it here. So we can just cancel it by pressing the control C. Okay, to exit from this PS session, we can type exit PS session. Okay, to clear the screen, we can type clear. So here we have uh, completed, uh, you know, connected to the remote computer and uh, installed the operating system feature on it. 
and we have tested multi hop remoting and we observe the remoting limitations so that's it uh, in this uh, video and uh, we will see the next uh, lab like uh, performing one too many remoting in the next video thank you